culture. You know, it's a lot of people out there that, you know, really do want to learn about our culture. I mean, hearing some different messages, it's um, it's like kind of a side conversation. I, I've, I work with some really, really good dudes. I mean, I got some real, like, some brothers that, you know, we work in a corporate world and, and they were just like down immediately. Right. But, you know, the thing about it is, you know, they, we, you know, sharing books and things like that. And, you know, sometimes when people, people sometimes share books about their belief system, not considering that someone may believe something else, you know, and it's just kind of an interesting thing where I'm like, you know, there's some things I can draw. It was a, it was a business book, but it was, um, from a, from a, a, a you know a viewpoint of someone who was obviously you know a Christian and I'm like this is fine I from respect a, your a, belief a, a, I'm glad you, know, you have your beliefs but it's that automatic assumption about like what you should believe or what I'm gonna gonna put out to you that that my friend is part of the problem mm -hmm. um I sat on a, I sat and listened to a show uh, okay let me put it to you this way. This show that I watched um, yesterday was so long, I fell asleep and woke up and it was still on. <laughs> okay. Wow. I I mean, it was so long. I thought it was like an hour. Yeah. Or, or right, hour, hour and a half, right? This thing was for at least, what, three hours or somewhere yeah. like that. I mean, it was over two hours, I mean, over two hours, almost three hours. It was long. Yeah. Um. And this panel of discussion was talking about the Badunetsu. Uh huh. That's what it was talking about. Yeah. And my thought was okay, before we get started is why would you sit on a program, I mean, on a, on a, on a platform like that? You have multiple people on there and sit there for hours talking about that. Right. Hours. Yeah. Right. And so. It's very important. So, um, like I said before, I'll, I'll, I'll mention this. You know, I talk more about this, you know, in depth. But I've said this many times. We should really learn about ourselves in four different ways, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The first way is we should learn what our classical language is. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second, we should learn about our cultural language. In other words, our media culture, where you're from. Right. Okay. The third thing you should learn is about your societal language, where people seem to think they know, but they don't. Right. right. And in this case, we're talking about English. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have no idea about just on how uh, interesting and matched and confusing that English language is. It's a massively complex language. It really it's, it's is. It's very complex. It's yeah. confusing. Yeah. And yeah. you always have to find out what somebody else is saying. Right. And you are speaking the same language that they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I mean. You see what I'm saying? That's how confusing it is. Yeah. And then the fourth thing people should do is learn a, co a connecting language. Mm -hmm. So a connecting language would be like Spanish. Right. French. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are connecting languages. Right. So if you want to connect with another culture, mm -hmm. okay, other than who you are, then that that is what that means. You should learn things from those four different ways because that is how society works. As a matter of fact, when you do that, um, not only you become they call it you know you're multilingual, you're more than one language, yeah. but you're you're kind of well rounded. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've said that a few times, and then I told someone, uh, and I have to ask them all the time. What do you mean by that? Right. It's a very important question to ask. Yeah. I always say that yeah. to people because I want to know exactly what you're saying because yeah. what I think you're saying, you may not be saying at all. Right. Right. This is the English language. Yeah. It's written that way. It is devised that way. The English language has words that are sounds that are sometimes spelled differently, pronounced the same, but have vastly different meanings. And so if you're not savvy very, yes. to that, Right. You can find yourself. So what I always think about was something I remember or at least was attributed to, to Native Americans here or Inuit people here was they would say white man speak with forked tongue. And I always thought that went back to like, well, yeah, it's built. If you're learning this language for the first time, very confusing language, very you confusing did. language. Well, you've been learning this language all your life. It is still right. Confusing. Right? Right. I had to find myself saying that to people because I have said that more than one time. 
to someone at work Mm -hmm. or anywhere. Yeah. You know, when they're talking, uh, I know part of the reasons why we get our food wrong uh, in a drive through restaurant Mm -hmm. is because people are just confused when you're saying something. When you you say one thing, you really mean another. Yeah, that's right. And your food food is messed up. Yeah. All of this is because of this language, right? Very confusing. So um, I find myself saying this is how you should be doing things. So mm-hmm. if you don't know your classical language, you don't know your cultural language. Right. right. You really don't know your societal language and you don't have a connecting language, then you're very, very limited. You're isolated. Very much so to who you who you can communicate with. Right, right. And, okay. you know, something that I've always thought is very important is you need to understand other people's cultures. You right? must. That, you know, that's something that I've all, like, that's why I still post about other people's mythologies because I want to know what they think. It's important. If I'm living next to someone and your idea of how you get to heaven is to blow up the whole neighborhood, I need to know that. I want to oh, know yes, I, I want to know that about you. What what is your idea of heaven? What does it look like and how do you get there? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. that's yeah, that's a very scary and concerning thought. Yeah, especially when you start talking about your leadership, people that you vote exactly. in the office. What do right. they actually think, right? What do your right. beliefs tell you, you know? Right. Um, if you believe, you know, that was the thing about, you know, embracing uh, back to African cultures is that you were always judged by your character, what your actions actually were. Well, that, that goes right back to what we've been talking about for so right. long. Right, right. And that's very important. We talked about, we've shared so many different ways mm-hmm. of explaining it. So yes, you're absolutely 100 percent right. So, uh, what am I looking right right here in front? This of you? was a comment that was left on our YouTube channel, and I was trying to decipher it a little bit because the names were not familiar to me. Um, so again, I'll struggle as you guys listen to the broadcast. Uh, Nagai Tu Te, Te, Tehu was the last king god of Mu before it sank into the Pacific. He led them to three places. Pulotu, the Americans, and Europe. The mirrors are our ancestors, but I'm not quite sure he's referencing. I'm assuming you're referencing uh, uh, black people or Africans. And the Moors. Moors. Oh, that, that's Moors, okay. And yeah. the biblical Moses was the last master of his knowledge. Okay. I was trying I, I was trying to understand where he was getting to. That's why I posted it up there. Um, a couple of things that I'd like to, to say. Mm-hmm. Um, if they're talking about the biblical Moses, uh, again, I know people do, but uh, where do you reference that to? I mean, where, where okay, so I mean, where is he going at with that, especially when he talks about it being his, the last master of his knowledge? So yeah. I'm trying to understand the Moors are our ancestors. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to, um, if people. When you're mentioning certain people and groups and cultures, you have to have something that's going to connect that. Right. Right now, I think he's a little all over the place with this one. Okay. Uh, so so I, I, I see what he's trying to say. But, yeah. Um, when you mentioned about the biblical Moses, uh, and this is allegorical stuff. Right. So I'm trying to figure out where he is going at with that because um, uh, the, 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 the person that we know of, Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, did not go to the Americas or did not, you know, I'm sure how, I don't know how you can connect in with the Moors, if you will, but I yeah. mean, that's kind of a very interesting thing. So I'm yeah. just a little confused about that. Yeah. No, like I said, some of the comments I like to bring to light, but I, I really wasn't sure where he was going, but I feel like we effectively handled that. Um, let's get a couple more of these in. Well, thank you for that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way to start off, right? Okay, uh, this was on a video. Um, this comment was left on a video about Seshit that I posted a little while back. Yes. The seven pointed stars represents the seven sisters known as the Ply- Pleiades constellation. How much do you know about the Pleiades mythology or or that specific reference there? That point right there, I can tell you right now, I know I don't know very much about that part. Mm-hmm. Um, but so, so the seven point star, um, I'm not sure he's directing this to Kemet or not, but I don't think that's, that's not where I'm getting this from. Mm-hmm. This is coming from somewhere else. You're right. Okay. So when he's talking about the seven sisters, okay. 
Um, they're talking about what the seven, if I understand him correctly, the seven pointed star that he's talking about that's above the head of Sachet is what he's referring to. Right. Okay. Uh, the Pallades constellation, I'm not sure where he's going at with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, yeah, that's something different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, just for this show, we'll be talking a little bit more about Shashat in the in, in the future. Yeah. But, well, again, just for um, the show, to help people understand who Shashat was, she was the one that actually was, as you and I would call her, the ghost writer for Jehuti. Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So she did all the writing. So we want to talk a little bit more about her. Um, just to help people to understand a little bit more about that part. Right, right. Okay, and so when you see the Houthi or I know and see a tablet, people think that he's writing. Yeah. Okay, but that's not what the situation is. So talking more about her in the Seven Pointed Star will be key. Yeah, because we can see that symbol of her right above her head there. That's this correct. Is what, this is and what he's referencing exactly. here. Yeah. Right. Some people even pointed this out to be connected to some point of a of a plant, mm -hmm. a marijuana plant of some kind, a yeah. plant. Yeah, know. they want it to be that, yeah. Yeah, they want, they want, they <laughs> they want, want it to be that. that, yeah. Right, so we will talk a little bit more about the Palladius constellation. Um, if that even exists, we have to expound on that. Right. Okay, but clearly um, she's talking about something very different. Yeah, I mean, I know I do know a little bit about the Palladius because it's mentioned a lot in... Uh, uh, alien mythology like you know yep. when they talk about other species they talk about this i think the seven sisters if i'm correct i think they are mentioned in some inuit belief systems i can't remember who but yeah. i have so they have there is some reference there again i never saw the connection um uh you know to kemet or, or egypt um I, I do know that other mythologies have talked about that star cluster as being a source of knowledge the same way yeah. that 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 they talk about, you know, Sirius B being this was a place of advanced knowledge. That Pleiades star cluster was uh, was also associated with that. But I think it's kind of uh, associated with the um, what's the, do you know the alien mythology where they live underground, like the 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 blonde haired. Um, uh, well, I guess they're called the Pleiadians, and there's this yeah. whole myth of this underground culture, this advanced culture. So I believe that that's where it comes from. But yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. But we'll definitely go back to Seshet at some point. We're going to dig a little bit deeper. That's a very important figure. All right, let's go to uh, this one here. Let's see. This is one you're going to like here. I knew you're going to like this one. Okay, this is uh, from Dura Roach. Uh, the Metanecha to me is the secret connection between word symbol and universal truth it's so beautiful the system of thought it's amazing 100 percent, 100 percent. okay yeah i like that that was a really really good one. yeah yeah absolutely absolutely i agree with that um and, uh, and the reason why is because a lot of people are not familiar with this but the method nature is the foundation of us learning what our language today is right Okay, because we talk about the letters of the alphabet, we, we do know that these are symbols, right? So we right. understand that part. Mm -hmm. But again, we get these things from understanding Egypt writing. So before, before the Romans, before the Greeks, before any of these people, right? We already had a, a foundational language, which of course, right? All right, uh, we refer to the Madu nature, but this the show I was on was talking about has the Madu nature been translated? Has it been deciphered? Uh, they were going back and forth, right? But of course, we're writing it now in a language that we can understand. In right. this case, English. Right, right. So, all right. So, yes, it is secret in connection between word symbol and universal truth. This is absolutely correct. The words of wisdom comes from that. So, the words of the Houthi, of course, we know of Hermes Medistus. You understand about the Emerald Tablets. All those things are passed down through this very. Uh, knowledge yeah yeah so so yeah he's 100 percent on that so uh, i've been talking about that for a long time but here's the problem with that mm. when people write things they need to understand they need to do it correctly because if it's wrong it is very misleading right absolutely okay so so and what that does is you people learn things incorrectly like i just talked the alphabet okay 
throughout school for 12 years or however long I've been learning these 12, right, these, 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 um, these alphabets, these, uh, what we've got, these 26 letters, <clears throat> to understand that Z is not the last letter of the alphabet. Okay. I know. Yeah. But, but see, but what I'm saying is because we have been taught a certain way of thinking, mm -hmm. we've been taught that's what it is. But unfortunately, that's wrong. It needs to be corrected. Right. So when we understand things about the correction, like we showed the map of how things were when you see the Atlantic Ocean, I was called the Ethiopian Ocean before it's called the Atlantic Ocean. Right. People always thought it was the Atlantic Ocean. Mm hmm but now we know it's different. Right. See, so that's what it was for a very long time. But you're not going to learn it in school, though. Right. Okay. So we have been mis miseducated is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, that's so, absolutely yeah, true. So what this, what this brother saying is 100% correct. I like, I mean, it's perfect. So to me, you know, when I always started looking at, at, at the language, the Meru Neche, it seemed like, obviously symbolism exists like we use symbols from our earliest days symbols are still very important we rely on color symbolism as well color symbolism was one of the first things that we did and we'll again that too, yeah. yeah that's reflected in nature right when you see a black widow spider it has it's marked it has its red symbol so that you see that right so nature has always used like colors and symbols to convey like this is absolutely what this is is, am I kind of am I kind of seeing that the right way? It is because even the insects see the same thing you do. Right, right, yeah, right, right? yeah. We all see in this. Okay, right. Yeah. So, right, yeah. even certain right certain mm -hmm. animals know not to eat certain right certain frogs. Yeah, they know that's right by colors that those things are are, are poisonous. Now, yes. you have to remember now they're not human beings. These are right animals. <laughs> These are animals. Know. Yeah. And yeah. they will not eat that frog. Yeah, see, they will not eat that frog. Is, right. Yeah. I mean, you you have to be at a higher level of intelligence. Yeah. To understand that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. This is what I mean by studying nature. Yeah. Because you become more aware of your surroundings by doing that very right. thing. Yeah. 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 Colors yeah. and symbols is very important. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. And it's universal. I mean, like really, it, it's designed so that you know, despite what your spoken language is, most of us can recognize symbols, hand gestures. I mean, those are cultural things, but for the most part, we can kind of get those things uh, just on a human level. Well, you do get them on a human level every day. When you yeah. put up to a stop sign, that's, that's right. exactly what you're looking at. Yeah, yeah. A yield sign, yeah. right? Yeah. These are all, okay, you understand. These are colors. Yeah. These are, these are symbols, right? All this stuff is communicating things to you, mm -hmm. okay? To help us to behave in a certain way. Right. Right. Okay. This is what we do. I mean, you do know that if you right are not recognizing symbols and signs, taking a road test, if you fail, you won't get your driver's license. Yeah, you're not supposed to. I want to be safe okay, too. Th you know what I'm saying? So, mm. <laughs> th th you know, this is how important this is. Yeah. Yeah. That is that. That's well spoken. Uh, yeah, I wanted. I, I wanted to just uh, welcome uh, Inner Wisdom Productions. Join us in the chat there. Awesome. Uh, thank you for thank stopping you. in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you have more you wanted to speak on this or you want to come back to Meta at some point later? No, we don't come back. Yeah. I love that. That was oh, a great that, uh, that was a good question. Okay. This one you're going to like too. I, I took the peek at this one here earlier when I was pulling this out and um, let's see if I can get it here. Okay. I've heard rumors that the ninja come from the Medjai. Is there any truth to this? Yes. Yes, right off the bat. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because because first of all, let's um let's start by talking about um the ninja. The ninja is an American word, so that's not what they're called. They're called Shinobi. Shinobi. I knew that one. Shinobi. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So so yes, and and so remember now, the ninjas didn't come into the you know middle say 1600s maybe mm -hmm. they've been they've been around for very long yeah okay so after after the the, the shogun okay mm -hmm. then you have the shinobi so it is all in the end right? yeah yeah okay so the so the oldest forms of that would be in a land that we know today to be called china right, right? Mm -hmm. okay 
But yes, yeah, so lots of Medje, mm-hmm. okay, migrated there to what we know to be called Asian America, the Asian right. country that yeah. you want to be. Uh-huh. But the Medje were, of course, doing the very things that you would consider them to be ninja like. Right. Yes. Yeah. Of course, they, the things that they did were, you know, they would call that to be almost supernatural. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Okay. You know, be able to go across the desert, man, going 26 miles a day, a day is, is, right? It's unfathomable for somebody who, who are, is not even close to even walking that any, any time, right? Because we have um, uh, our bone structure and our physiology is very different than it was back then. Right. Okay. The Medjay had very strong bone structure. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're, okay. So they can go for miles and miles and miles. Okay, that's not the way our bone structure is made today. Yeah, yeah. How have we changed? Um, part of it is environment, mm-hmm. right? Our food, mm-hmm. right? All those things have done things to our bodies right now where we're not we're not at all even close to to that. I know that um, in training, uh, the U.S. Navy SEALs during Hell Week it goes, uh, from what I understand, seventy five miles a week. Okay, well that's intense. Yeah. Well, but the Medjay go 26 miles a day. A day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's drop off right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not even close, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, okay. Yeah. So, this, right. So, they, they have surpassed that in many ways because that's why they were the best of the best for the for the pharaoh, the soup right. king, yeah. or the king, or yeah. the soup king. Yeah. They, yes. That's who uh, was they were trained by. Mm hmm. Okay, the best of the best, and that's who the magic were. So yes, that truth is, yeah, around the money right there. So yes. Okay, perfect. There, I, I wanted to get into that. Okay, those are the comments that I had. Did you have some images you wanted to share with me? Um, you know, mm-hmm. let me see. So we can kind of let me see if I can find where are we at here. So let me go to the chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see if I can. Um, give me one second. Yeah, take your time. Um, I did have a couple. So, um, while he's getting uh, that ready uh, we have a a couple of branch off to the main channel on YouTube I'm going to drop some links for you guys later on Um, and obviously oh man this is really nice what do you got here okay hit me one okay let me let me get this one let me get this downloaded here Uh, where you at come on come on come on no I want that Okay, this is perfect. Okay. See, we're going to get a little lesson today. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Let's talk about this. All right. So let's go. Okay. So first of all, they said this is Ahmed Hotep's cartouches. Yes. Which we talked okay. about that word a little bit. Yes. So yes. first of all, that word cartouches is wrong. Yeah. Okay. So those are shins. Yeah. They use that word a lot in the mummy movies, right? That's what right. they talk about. Yeah. That's why it's so popular. Yeah. yeah but I'm, it's really very, a shin. Yes. I'm very, uh, I'm just anal about it, period. I just want to just say that. Well, that's an important <laughs> distinction. That's, again, getting back to, like, actually discovering the language, right? I, I am just, now, th- this is the Budge Dictionary saying this. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. But it's okay. not that's not the case. Yeah. Right? These are shins. These are not cartouches. Yeah. Okay. A cartouche is a French word for bullet. Yeah. Okay, like a bullet casing. Yeah. So they're not cartouches. They're not cartouches. Okay. So I want people to understand that that's the, that's the first thing that's wrong. Yeah, the piece. That's, that's not the case. And that's the shape here that they're talking about. What is isn't circular? Correct. It is. It, correct. I can see how you might confuse this with the case, or that would be your word for it. But that's what they mean when they say your cartouche. I don't care. That yeah. doesn't even say. See what I'm saying is that if it says it in the Bethunetra, that means something. Yes, but if it doesn't say that in the Medu nature, why would you call it if it doesn't say that? Yeah, because you're like, you're you're translating someone else's culture into your language. That, that's and those two right. things are are unique. Your culture and right. your language are connected. So yeah. yeah, you know how I feel about this already. Yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah. This is our culture and our language. Right. Yeah, absolutely. We need to be spending time learning our own culture. Right. Right. So when somebody says this, it's not correct. We mm. need to correct that. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the dictionary that they wrote now. So mm. we need to understand that part. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. So, so, okay. And so what we're looking at here is it says, ah. Okay. There is no ah there. That's raw. Okay. This here, this that's symbol right here. Correct. Okay. So, so that's ah. Mm -hmm. And they say keperu. There is no keperu. That's keper. The second symbol here. Correct. Okay. See the, see the beetle here? Yes. That's called Kepper. Mm -hmm. Then these lines is right one, two, three. We'll yes. get back to that. Okay. Hey, okay. you pay attention to that. This here, it says Ra. This That's one here. wrong. Okay. The word Ra. You see that? Yeah, right here. Yeah, right above Yeah, yeah uh -huh. there is no Ra. Yeah. This means this is Sara. Okay. Okay. Sara. And then you see over here where they've also done some things too. Uh -huh. So people consider these words to be A's. These mm -hmm. words should actually be J's. Okay. Okay. So, 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 and then they're saying that this person is the second. Okay. No, that person isn't the second. Right. Person, I'll go back to this. Okay? Right. Okay. So let's go, so let's go backwards mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. This person, so this right here, Will be Kepera, mm -hmm. okay? Kepera, Sara, I'm in into Hotep. I'm okay. in into Hotep, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. See this? So go all the way up to the top. Mm -hmm. This is oh, no, over here to the to the right. Okay. See this? Go down a little bit further. Mm -hmm. That's Min. Okay. In mm -hmm. Hotep. Okay. So that should be another in there. That's I'm in in here. See, I'm in, mm -hmm. Min in. Men in, men in hotel. Okay. Men in hotel. Yeah. All right. So let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So this should be Ra, mm -hmm. Men Kepra, Sa Ra. Okay. So it's a Ra manifestation of the Sun Ra, mm -hmm. at, right? Okay. Um, the unseen one who is at peace, the third. Oh, okay. 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 See the lines here again? Yeah, yeah. Go back. Uh-huh. Go back. Yeah. Go back. All the way to the left. Okay. Right here. Uh-huh. So that would be I'm in Hotep first. Okay. I'm in Hotep second. Uh -huh. I'm in Hotep third. Yes. This says I'm in Hotep the second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can see that. That's where they came out of it. Oh, come on. Get off of that for me. Right there. The second. Where you're saying this is saying the third, right? The bottom. Yeah. The bottom. Okay. Okay. So they're saying this is see, this is why you know when you're when you're breaking up to break these things down and mm -hmm. then try to understand why they're saying things when it's not the case, right? So, um, and that's kind of what this is. This is keper. If you put the ra there, then you say kepera. Kepera, yes. But this is ra I mean keper. This mm -hmm. is keper sara. Mm -hmm. I hear. I'm in Min Hotep. Yes. Now this symbol here, okay, this is the plume, right? Yes. And that's associated with Ma'at. Yes. Okay. So again, but they always use these words. They want it as a singular. Mm -hmm. It can be an E. Mm -hmm. 
It's, if, it's, if it's double and they use this as vowels as Y or U. Mm-hmm. Y, I'm sorry, Y. Anything that's a vowel, anything that's a Y, U would be a quail bird or a yeah. W. Okay. But this way, if it was double, it'd be a Y. But like the singular one here in here, mm-hmm. you would use this as a E. Yeah. So, so, so it's so this first one, this plume here, they consider this to be an E. So, if you if this was an E, just an example, mm-hmm. it would be E Min in Hotep. Yes, okay. There's no A there. There's no A, okay. If this was an E, mm-hmm. E Min in Hotep, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, is that this is our language, and this is something that we really need to be aware of. Because they're saying this is I'm gonna hope that's cartouches. Right. You know, right. They're not cartouches. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then okay, so remember I said there's a actual name, there's a there's a there's a role name, and there's a there's a throw name and an actual name. Right. First is is this is role name. Okay. This is right here saying this is who you are. Mm-hmm. You are the Rob and Ke- Rod Kepper. Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. The third. Yeah. And they're saying Sara. Mm-hmm. Just there. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, that that bird there. Mm-hmm. And this sun disc here, Ra. Yeah. Sara. Sara. Okay. So they, they always say son of. Yeah. So you're a son of the Amen Hotep the first, the son of Amen, Amen Hotep the second. Mm-hmm. Son of means one who has passed down. Right. Okay. From from generation to generation. To generation. So that's kind of what that's talking about in this whole. So this needs to be a little bit more. So when people post this, they need to understand a little bit more about this. That's what they kind of break it down simply to say that this is people are telling us what something means when it's not. Right. Right. Okay. These things need to be corrected because A's, there were no vowels there. Right. Just like how okay. Medunetch is written out, there's no vowels. No, we, we. If he was to add the vowels, if mm-hmm. he was to take away the a's, mm-hmm. it should be able to say the same thing. So these a's and e's, if they're gone, they would actually say the same thing. Right. So if you take away that, it should sp- it should say the same name, Kepper, mm-hmm. Sara. Mm-hmm. Okay, E M and Hotel. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that. What you're looking at is this ka mm-hmm. should it be the same as ra. Right. R H. Right. Not R A. Right. Okay. That's what I want you to see. So these things should be saying the same thing without vowels. Right. That's, that's what, so because that's exactly how these are written. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if you start saying, oh, this is an E, this is a they didn't have that. Right. Yeah. Right. That's an important distinction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we need to be able to clarify. So so just for this show, we're not getting all into the measure nature as we're breaking things down. I just want people to understand simply that we need to know our own language and what we're saying. So then that way we understand what something is and what something is. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I like that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Okay. Did you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, we okay. can. Okay. See what you got here. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. 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 So, so again, this um, you have different forms of understanding what this is. Now, this is Montu's name. Yes, I see the owl first. That's the first thing I see here. Yep. Okay. But this is so the so so earlier we saw that w- the one with the little box with the lines in it. Mm-hmm. That's the double. So that's min M N. This is just M. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is M N U. Okay. So M N U. Okay. M N U. Yes. That's what it is. So his actual name, I know we say Montu because it's easier, but his actual name is Menenthu. Menenthu. Correct. Okay. But in this one here, because the Coptic mm-hmm. is the last form of the Bedunetra. Right. 
And that's why you see that owl there. Because yeah. now it's separated into something that's singular. The only difference is the, this right here at the bottom, this little circle with this little at the bottom here, below that little wave line. Yeah, I see that right down here. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's double. Yeah. So that's a or a sh. No. Well, okay. okay. For those, right? Yeah. And the quail is a always something that's plurality. Right. The quail right. represents plurality. Right. So there's okay. no U. That's actually a W. Okay. Okay. So remember now, this is so we have the, the last form of the metric is the copy version. So when you start to break things down singularly, mm -hmm. like the owl, like we talk about, and we talk about, so these are singles. Yeah. And then you have the only two that is plurality is this ooh. Okay. Okay. Or sh ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Okay. Okay. So let's go. So let's uh, give you an example of what I'm referring to when I talk about that. So, all right. So, all right. So there we go. So <clears throat> I gave you a picture of Montu again. Yeah, I'm about to pull this in here. One second. Okay. This is the picture of Montu. Let me enlarge this. Yes. Here. Okay. But now what are we looking at? See? So... So this on top is Menenthu. See? <coughs> right at the, okay, right up here. Let me put this in front here. Up at the top. Yes. So right up at the top. Right so, there, right? Right. So remember when I said again, this is a plurality deal? Yes. So that's what that is. M N Thu. And a little line in the middle. Right. And then the right there. Yeah. Yeah. That double symbol there. Right. So yeah. again, you're saying that person's name is Menenthu. And then through, okay. Uh, all right. See, so what I wanted to show today is how important the metric is. Right. Okay. The first thing you want to do is to help people to understand that it has a lot to do with language. Mm -hmm. It has a lot to do with expression. It has a lot to do with culture. And it also has a lot to do with who a person is or who a person is not. Right. And, and so the suit was so distinct about this that everybody knew we're not making a mistake in writing something. Right, exactly. We don't make mistakes in, in talking about how important a person is. Mm -hmm. We don't make mistakes in how to connect with Mahat. Right. We don't make mistakes on how to be able to talk about a role for a name, uh, a uh, 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 coming up prince name and all these other things. Yeah. Okay. All this stuff is expressed in the metronetra. The right. metronetra literally means written, these words of nature. These are written words. Yeah. Written words has a lot to do with frequency mm -hmm. and energy. Mm -hmm. Right. Very important. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. So all the plum leaf, all these symbols is symbolic thought and symptomatic thinking. Okay. Together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you you don't have one without the other. Right. Okay. So these things are very important in describing something or someone, mm -hmm. especially with what they're doing. All their exploits is on there. Yeah. Yeah. All of their yeah. All of the things that they did in life is on there. Okay. Now I, now okay. Obviously, this is a depiction of Monthu, right? Menenthu. And yep. we can see, so he's depicted as the hawk in this in this particular relief here. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, so I'm, again, going back, this is again courage, right? Yes. Okay. So you have that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so remember, now we talked about anthropomorphic forms. We utilize that to try to explain something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's actually meaning more than one thing. Yes. Right. And in this case, yes, it is. It all depends on what in the suit you're talking about. Right. Uh, let's see. So we, I think last week, oh no, when you put up, okay, here we go. I've got a few there. Okay. Uh, okay, let me grab these. Oh, these are good ones too. Okay, hang on.
Okay, this is the first one here. Yes. All right. So, uh, uh, again, you see, the uh, only thing I want to say about this one, because we've talked about this in the past, mm -hmm. but it's saying here who the person is. Okay. So, you see, Ra, Min, Kepper, and then you see him, Tutmosis, right? Uh, the, see that those lines again down at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, so right there. Is, so, okay, so what does that mean? Is I don't know. What is that? What is that? Is that the the number? The sip? The the right? Because you said it was about plurality, right? No. So yeah. So you got I mean, So you got right. Shahuti must the first. Uh huh. Shahuti must the second. Uh huh. So these different people. So so we want to we know who that person is because remember that's in the shin. Right. Yeah. Okay. So his name that his his right. This is the person. So his name is in the shin. Okay. A person's the name in the shin is the person's name of is, is Ren. The person's name is in there. That's very yeah. important to know. Okay, that right, that means that's the Nasut or the Sutin King's name. We say Nasuti. Right. Okay, because he was the at that time during the during the, the third golden age, he was right the suit of the, the the south and the north. Yes. All right. So the, so it's in the shin. So again, this is the measure telling you who this person is. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So this is right. This so this is all explaining him right here. But what I'm saying is, is that they're not making any mistakes of who that person is. Right. Right. Yeah. It's not like the English language where words can have multiple meanings. They're very specific. It's very confusing. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and, and they're not having it. Yeah. Yeah. See. So obviously so they're is, they're very conscious of who they were passing it down to. Well, we, we and that's the way we should be. That's yeah. part of the reasons why we don't know what we know now is because of that very reason. Yeah. Okay. So all right, yeah. So that's so that's perfect. So I wanted you just to see that. Okay, let's pull up this next one here. Okay. All right. So so let's blow this one up again. Yeah. There we go. All right. So. So that goes right back to what I just said earlier. Mm -hmm. So how do we know who this person is? Well, it should have his name here, right? Which I'm assuming is in the shin. have this person's name there again. Which is right here in that shin there, right? Right. Okay. But now we know who this person is because it's telling you who he is right here at the top. Okay. What are you talking about right so here? So this is the... No. Over to the right. Okay. Yep. Okay. It says here who he is. So now you're saying you are the Nesubiti. Mm -hmm. See on the top, this is what this means. Yeah, okay. The Nesubiti, see these two lines? The second. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. there, right there. Those are the two Right, lines. okay. And yeah, then it's okay. telling you what his name is right here. Yeah, okay. 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 So this is Ramat Nasu. This is the Ramasu or Ramses the yeah. second. Okay. Okay. Let me try and See, I'm, gonna try and, I'm gonna try and zoom in on that a little bit more there. Yeah. Okay. So this is why we need to know this information because um, all this stuff is translated or you want to it's communicating to you something. Yeah. Yeah. And it's telling you who this person is right now. There's other things that's in here. What I'm concerned about is what this is telling me. I want to know who you are. Yeah. Okay. He says, I am the I am born of Ra, Ma'at. Mm -hmm. Truth, justice, and righteousness is what he is saying. Okay. Okay. And that's what he's learning as a child from this very point on. So they say you are the royal one. You are the right, you are the one who is learning, right? You are the one of Ma'at. Yeah. So you are Ra Ma'at. So that means you have melanin. Yeah. Okay. You are you're a melanated person. Yeah. Okay. And all this is explained that you protect the person's name in the shin. Yeah. You are okay. protected. Okay. Okay. This is exactly what this is saying. Now, of course, we have Unk here. And of course, we have what it says the one who is giving Ma'at, uh, giving Unk. Yeah. Sorry, giving life. Okay. Giving life. That's what that's all this stuff is saying. Nasu Beti the okay. second. Okay. Okay. So I don't have one. Let me see if I can find one of 
Um, I thought I had it here. Maybe of uh, of um, uh, of a Mr. Hotel. So I thought I had one here for him. Um, let's see if I can find it. I don't think I have one up up here. But it always explains who that person is. Okay. 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 I just want to say that for this one. Yeah. We, we, we've gone over these in the past. I just kind of want to, you know, I'm, I'm being a little bit more specific now. Yeah. And it helps. The repetition it, brings it brings everything into focus. Yeah. And so on the right, mm -hmm. energy of Ra. Mm -hmm. You are the energy of Ra. You are the, so as long as energy exists, you shall exist. Right. Okay. Right. No, all the way to the left. All to the left. Okay. Right there. See that? Oh, this one right here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see that? that? That looks like your DNA. Yeah, it does. Right there. Yeah. Yes. So I'm saying to you, this is energy. As long as this energy exists, you exist. Okay. Okay. See, you're speaking the name, you exist. Yeah. You speak in truth, you shall exist. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're not forgotten. Yeah. Okay. This is all is what this is saying. Okay. Okay. So we need to know that when a person says, oh, the person is dying, we don't we forget all about them. That's not the way we've learned things. Right. Right. Yeah. For them to write it down in stone really means something. Right. It means, right, you're passing it on from generation to generation right. to yeah. generation. Right. The energy of you continues to exist, right? Exist mm -hmm. in who? The mm -hmm. consciousness, right, of you, of your people. Right. Okay. okay. All okay. of these things is what they're talking about on this. Very important to know how important the middle metric is. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Let's look at that next image that you sent over, which was a little, well, hang on, a little more intricate, but get out of there. Why are you not? Oh, I'm sorry. Dragging the wrong image. Okay. This is the one I wanted to get up here. Yeah. Okay. So, and um, let's see. So let's see if we can blow this one up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. okay so mm -hmm. again, if you would, it's kind of small, but over to the left, you'll see Monthu's name in there again. Uh... On the right here, right? Pass the bird, right? Pass the bird. No, right. Go back. Oh, go back. go back. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Right, right in the writing here. Yeah. Okay. 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 See, so this right here is the hawk up here at the top. Yeah. Right up here. Down, oh, right here. Down, right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's the hawk. Yeah. Okay. There's the bird. Yeah. Here's the bull. Mm hmm. Okay. But what type of bull is this? Now, remember that there's two different types of bulls they're talking about. Okay. You have the Aphis bull. Okay. Mm hmm. And you have the Mernifus, two different ones. Okay. In this case, they're talking about the Apis bull because you see they have the sun disc there with the two plum feathers on the top. Right there, yeah, okay. This is the markings of Montu. Yeah. That's what they're talking about. Yeah. The strength of Montu is right on top of this bullhorn. Mm -hmm. So he's bringing offerings to what is called the bull strength. Yeah, bringing, right there. This is what they're talking about. Yes, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. This hawk, again, is representing the flight, mm -hmm. right? The courage here, courage and strength is in this is, is in this picture, okay? Courage and strength is in that. That's right. what they're talking about. Right, okay, okay. Okay, that's it. All these things is kind of how Montu is, and he's explaining this in this relief, right. more or less. Right, okay, okay. okay? So you're going to always see um, how important a relief is based on what it's saying to you. It's, yeah. it's jumping out at you. Yeah. You just don't know what it's saying to you. Right. Okay, so that's why we pay attention to this. And so um, the Bithu Nature is a lifelong study. Right. A lifelong study. You're going to do it. I mean, for me, it's for the rest of my life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very important. And sharing Sing it. Bought. And sharing it. Because you've been Correct. doing that, yes. Yeah. And on top there, you'll see the baguette on top there. Okay. Go all the way to the top. Okay. 
You're going to see that marking on every building, and you go into the temples, you're going to see that. Um, if you ever go and visit uh, Egypt, that's where I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, that's exactly what you're going to see. Okay. Okay. So you see that, that sun raw there with those two cobras there? Yes, it's here. Yes. Uh, okay. Nope. Up on the top where the baguette is. Okay. That's where you're going to see it. All yeah. the way to the top. Okay. Yeah. In the center. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a little hard to make out there, but yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's where you're at. Yeah. Right there. So that's all that is. is all these things is talking to you and communicating to you and telling you things. Right. So this is a classical language for us. Mm-hmm. We still have to break things down and put things together. It's like I said, pieces. Yeah. And it's kind of like a big, huge, gigantic puzzle. But when you do it over time, you begin to learn a little bit more as you continue to go along. But definitely, um, it's talking about who this is and what this person is doing. Right. It's always a doing thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, because we've seen him like to give life to the Pharaoh. We've seen that in the reliefs, right? It was action. Yes, yes, to the Nisut. Yes, to the Nisut, yes. Okay, so yes. And then you're talking, so so, so Suit and King are singular. Mm-hmm. Nisut, Biti means two lands. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, so that's singular. So if you were of the north and of, of the south, it would be a singular thing. Right. You conquered both those lands, and you would be. It was it's plurality again. Yeah, and that was the most significant thing in that in that time was uniting the two lands. It was told in the story of Set Heru, right? It was all about reuniting the two lands, right? And then they talk about many of the suits who did that, and they're always very specifically given credit for reuniting the lands. Right. It was all about. It was all about connecting the two lands of the Hopi. Mm-hmm. Okay, today we call it the Nile River, but it's called the Hoppy. The Hoppy, yes. Okay, yeah. So that's something else we'll talk about too in the future. Okay. So uh, we had, uh, they had uh, 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 Queen Tai, mm-hmm. these names of, they said Amen Hotep. No. Mm-hmm. Right? Because they didn't write her name out. They didn't, you know, express that sister's name correct. Right, right. Okay. So it's Hamet Nwisiwit Taji. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> so that's right. Yeah, so that's they didn't get. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they have to write the name out for that system because that's the Tai. That's something that's they say Tai. It's Tai. Tai. Yes. Yeah. They say T I Y E. Yes. He is the J's there. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, where do you get the? Hold on for a second. Where do you get these Y's and E's from? These yeah. are all right. Yeah. Okay, they want to spell her name with vowels and stuff. Remember right. I told you again that, you know, they don't. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so, right, all this stuff is written again. We have mm-hmm. to be able to know what this is saying to us so we can be able to get, like, yeah. yeah, this is right. Yeah, yeah. Now and it's she, all written. And she was the queen of which Nasut? That would be, uh, you would say, again, uh, I'm at Hotep the third. Right? Yes, okay. Right? But remember now, that's Yah, not Ah. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So then, see, that's what I mean. So they are not saying it's old. Yeah. We use AIDS. Yeah. But you don't see any, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> so you yeah. know, and I, all I all I want to know is what this is telling me. Right. It's written. Yeah. If yeah. it's written there, then we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But if it's not written there, I'm going to have an issue. Yeah. And then extrapolating so, her out a bit. So her son was Akhenaten? Yes. Okay. And his son would be Tutankhamen. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But again, if you was to say his name right, mm-hmm. okay, that would be Rodney Maatre. Mm-hmm. There you don't see that nowhere. Right, right. See? Actual name, throne name, they're together. Yeah, yeah. They don't. You don't see any of that. Yeah. So why? why you, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's and it's Yahmen, which is Yah H O Y J H M N Hatep. Yes. They got I M is A M E N. Okay. We mean the unseen one who is at peace. So if, if I called him Akunatin, he wouldn't even answer that if that brother was here right now. They'd be like, who are you talking about? Yeah, he'd probably look over his shoulder, right? 
right is it Ramsey who was that yeah Right. You know, that, yeah. Right. Yeah. Who? <laughs> what? What? what, what, what yeah. 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 Right. Is yeah. anybody calling your name? Right. They're yeah. not calling you by your name, Kareem. You're not gonna know who that put it. Right. About. Right. Right. I'm like, who, who are you looking at on me? Yeah. You know, yeah. they call you Curtis or something. Yeah. Right. 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 Who? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Why? Right. You better get my name right, especially when I'm getting paid. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. It's real serious. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, and the Sue boy. Bitty gonna make you get his name right. No. You, you, you see, you better. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. It is a dishonorable thing to mess up that name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You would get slapped by your mother, man, if you did such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, little kids now. Right. Okay. When you're an adult, man, you know better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? No, right? It is a great honor to be doing such a thing. You'd be excited. You'd be happy to say the name of your great Nasut. Right, yeah, absolutely. But you're gonna be saying that man with honor. You're not gonna be getting the brother's name wrong. Right, yeah, yeah. That's the right? that's the maximum disrespect right there. Well, right. You you can do it put a procession man, and then everybody's jumping up and down saying Ramsey's. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What did you just say? Yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, somebody need to go and correct him. Yeah, real quick, right? Hope it <laughs> right. don't be. Hope it don't be the Medjai, right? That, that's who will be. Yeah, corrected. see, that's that's a problem. That's problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we have. Okay. So I think we put up a few up here today. So well, okay, real quick. Uh, uh, Inner Wisdom had had a, a question about uh, Noon Nonnet holding the boat. I'm not sure what that symbolism means. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Okay. That's something that I think we could probably talk about next time. But okay. Yeah, I okay. Know about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We will get to that then. Okay. All right. You seen a couple more you want to go through here? Let me see. Um. Let me see. Who do I have? Um, dr dropping these down in the chat makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's real fast now. Um. Hmm. Cause there, okay, let me let me drop this while you're looking for that. Cause there's some, there was a couple here I wanted to go through as well. Hang on, let me find right, right folder up here. Okay, again, one of the one of the um, uh, the suits that we don't talk enough about, right? So, am I seeing this right as neat, or this is labeled as neat here? This is labeled as okay. Let me see. So this would be labeled as knees, but as you can probably tell, mm -hmm. okay, this is the wings of Maat. Yes. Okay. This here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, it's all going to be depending on what they're saying down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking at here is a bunch. Of, if I can tell it right to me, it looks kind of like is it a the jet up down here at the bottom is what I'm looking at, mm -hmm. but it probably, yeah, it, it does look like that, more or less. I see the unk there for sure, no doubt. Right. Okay. So, uh, my question is, how are we knowing that that's that person? Right. Now, I, typically, I would think you look at the headdress, right? The headdress? Or, the, or what it's about this area here. Like, usually they've got something that's kind of symbolic of them, right? Like the plumes, when we see Monty, we see the double plumes, so we can identify that. Um, yeah, but I, again, how how do you know that that's that person? Right, what I'm saying we'd have to look for her shin. Her shin on here would tell us who she was. You're right. You have to right. So okay. So okay. Now again, I don't want to see touching touching this would uh -huh. mean that I would have to explain and remember reveal the names again. Right. Right. Okay. So you have to. So when you're when when people are pointing out artifacts, when you're pointing out you know, things saying this is this person. You, you have to be able to show me how is it that person. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, because, again, I had to correct somebody. You know, we were over at the uh, Ramsey, you know, uh, display. Mm -hmm. And the person was saying that it's this person, it's that person. I said, well, how do you know that right. it's that person if you can't read their names? I mean, you just read the names on an English. Yeah. I don't know, so who's telling you that? Yeah. Right, yeah. the true name is in the shin. Mm -hmm. This is right, this right, right, right. right. Okay. I know people use the term coffin, right? Sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what it is. Though, remember when I told what is that? That person's name is in the sahu. So you put the cat into the sahu. Yeah, and the cat, when it's revealed, it has the name of the nature of the person and their explanation. The name 
are they past all the knowledge of the person who has transitioned to mm. the right to the afterlife as well, but it's in it's in the sahu. Yeah. Yeah. I said there's no there's no term for sarcophagus there. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's not written there, yeah. it's there, right? Yeah. And there was silence, of course, you know, after that. Mm-hmm. Right. But I'm but I'm explaining that you how would you know that unless you're able to read that? Right, right. Now, Neat's role was that of creator, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So the, the story is I heard is that she literally comes out of the primeval waters. Correct. Okay. And she would later be associated now if I'm right. Uh, she was had an association with Seth and I mm-hmm. believe that, um, Sobek is attributed as her offspring. Right. Okay. What was her role after creation? Was there another role that she, that she carried? Cause she was highly venerated, right? She was well worshiped. Very much so. She was very skilled hunter. She was the one that helped form. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. The weapons of the suits. Yes. I mean, the weapons of, me, of the uh, of the necklace. Yes. So she was a, a weaver. That's uh-huh. why you see her associated with a spider. Mm-hmm. Meaning one who weaves. Yes. Okay. 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 That's what that's referring to. So they're talking about her ingenuity, mm-hmm. her ability to be able to create these type of things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yes, this is correct. Okay, and she had uh, temples. Uh, where where was her temple at, or did she have a main temple? Uh, Neith would be down in the northern part. So okay. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah, so she would have. She would have. Uh, they would have something of her there. Yeah. Yeah. Because she was known for uh, reaching uh, the Nile Delta is where she established. Correct. Okay. Okay. Why do you think we've kind of because we don't hear as n- as much about about Neith. Why do you think that is? Well, just like we didn't hear a whole lot about Bantu either. Right. Right? Uh, but a person like me, I make it my business to do so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because because if we don't, then lots of people won't even know who those people are. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. So this is our channel to make sure that when we're speaking of that, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because you'll see, you're starting to see more about Mahis now, a pot about more, right? Mm-hmm. In the past, there were very little. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But now you're seeing a lot more about Montu now and all these other things, right? Yeah. That should have been talked about. Yeah. Because now they're beginning to see the association with the new suits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or the royal wives. Yeah. Or people like that. They're starting to see, right? How important the Enet is, for right. an example. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They started to see how important the Agdu it is. Right. 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 Yeah. They started to see the importance of the relevancy. Mm-hmm. When we say those names in English, but we say those names as far as the creation story. Yeah. Okay. You know, if people started to see more of the importance and the relevancy of that, so you're going to see more now than you ever have. Right. Yeah. Because it's interesting. Uh, Inner wisdom mentioning only Ra is really depicted. Ra is in commercials. To this day, like they use Ra in the solar industry, so he is prevalent everywhere. Right. Obviously, no. they took uh, Waset, right, Aset as Isis, and she's probably the one who's been, you know, really among the most elevated. And then, uh, uh, Osi- well, who they call Osiris. Well, that's that's with Sir and with Sirette. Yes, yes, yes. What was so yeah. special about their specific union? Because that seems to be a, a, a they're at the, the kind of the crux of it. Well, we talked about the underworld part of it, where the Wissarith would be. Mm-hmm. They talked about how the importance would be as far as him being connected, right, to the, you know, as we're talking about the, the areas of the judgment area, we return back to Asar. Right. Asar or Wissarith, they're talking about the consciousness of the female and male energy is what they're referring to. Right. Okay. Highest level of consciousness, right, is always that's unionized or mm-hmm. Ma'at. Yeah. Right, so that's kind of what you're looking at. So yeah. anything that's not of Mahat is right, it's not in balance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the universe. Yeah. Okay. You see, right. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm, you know, you see a sister and a brother every time you turn around. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very okay? true. Yeah. yeah you're right. In creation, yeah. you see a sister and a brother every time yeah. you right or right. Yeah. You're male and female. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is balance. Yeah, it's balance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, right? should be questioned yeah it's out of balance yeah that's correct and yeah. when you do and you know 
hope it works out for you. Yeah. You know, he mentioned that, you know, one of the other other uh, Natchez they speak about a lot is Jehudi. I had slipped on that. We left out Jehudi or Thoth, who's probably known by more names than any of them, right? Yeah, but again, when you're talking about, you know, him, um, they they really, um, to me, they don't really represent him very well. Okay. You know, uh, everybody wants to represent him as a part of being Hermit Peace Yeah, yeah, right? exactly, but, yeah. Right? Uh-huh. But y'all want to take certain aspects of him. Right. Okay? No, we don't want to associate Shahuti with Ma'at. Yeah. Okay? But you want to call him Hermit Peace for Greeks and stuff like that. So then you want to know we're the father of medicine. Right. We're the one who created philosophy. No. Right, right. You know, you did not create philosophy. Yeah. Okay. You, you've taken some things from that, right? But mm. definitely no. Yeah. He's definitely been elevated. Yeah. yeah. He definitely transcended. Right. And so he's, right. Well, to me, those are, you know, those are imitators are not the original. So, okay. So if they're taking him from, uh, from, you know, the, from that group. So who is Zeus representative of? Amen. Amen. But Zeus's moral standpoint was so different. Of course, man. Yeah. You, you take when you take you separate stuff. Yeah. Like you take right. Right. I mean, it's like I said before. He said, "No, we don't. We don't want this part." Yeah. You know? And it's almost like saying to you know, I, I like meat and potatoes, but I don't want no vegetables. Right. 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 You know. What I mean, yeah. so you you want to separate. Yeah. Okay. You 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 don't want to have anything unionized. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because it used to be Zeus Amen. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. But now, no, we just want Zeus now. Not, yeah. not, no, we want to connect him right. with anything right that's originally African. Right, right. Okay? So so now we know that his character is flawed. Yeah, yeah. Okay? But you are not going to say that about Amin. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Right, yeah. Amin's, Amin's character is impeccable. All right, yeah. Zeus's was not. Okay, right. So we, right. So, so anybody we, knows that... Even today, if you go to Egypt today, you will see the place of Ibn the Sut. Mm-hmm. the Sut is the holy place of the city of Amun. Mm-hmm. It's the most holiest place. That's the holy of holy places. Right. Okay, we got Israel. We yeah. like them, but that's not the case. Yeah, yeah. That, that's very important. Thank you for making that. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. So we need to understand that. Yeah. It even says it, right, scripturally wise and all this type of stuff that people are looking at the Bible, but I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. You go to a place that represents full character or morality mm-hmm. right or right or re- the religious places or this high level of spirituality mm-hmm. right is right in the temple of the set yeah okay that's that's what people should understand everybody that goes there say they receive a spiritual experience every mm-hmm. time they go to that place now mm-hmm. it's thousands of years later and you're still getting a spiritual experience that tell you how strong the energy is there. yeah absolutely absolutely that'll bring me to my next topic you know what the 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 inner we was talking about so many names to confuse us about who was actually who. It's very, you have to really track it down to go from Hermes Trismegistus to what he actually to, thought to Jehudi. So it's it's a bit of a maze that we face. But you said something about, you know, spiritual energy, which made me think, I, I just done a video about the ziggurats, right? What was, mm-hmm. at, you know, when we talk about the pyramids, there's so much mystery around the pyramids. Why, how they were built. We still don't understand that concept of how they're built. But what I really wanted to focus on was why were they built? What was the actual purpose when they, we were seeing these pyramids built throughout uh, uh, not only North Africa, but then kind of spreading around the world? Well, I mean, because the first of all, they weren't called pyramids. Okay. Okay. These are perhas. So, or house, a great house. So these are perhas. So you have the, these places are, are great uh, burial places or stuff like that of the Nasuts. Okay. Okay. So they had certain places of halls where they were, where they lived, all around the Wasep. Well, these, uh, these, they call them pyramids. I mean, it's, that's another word. That's not even associated. Right. Okay. With right. that perhaus is that great house, the house of the place where the Nisu would dwell. In other words, that person's problem, the Sabu would be there. Mm-hmm. But the cat will be there because these are pyramids that they're talking about that's actually being built. Yeah. Okay. So that's where, and they've always aligned themselves with constellations. Right. I was going to mention that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
very important to be connected to that. So everything that was everything was strategically done for all these reasons. Yeah. Okay. So you know, and that's why we have to have very high reverence and respect for this, mm -hmm. because that is. I mean, when the you know, if you look at the uh, the Aztec pyramids, if you look at all these. All this stuff is being in connection with constellations of the stars, constellations right. of what the universe is. Yeah. Doesn't matter what part of the, of the world it is, the concept is the same. Right. All, worldwide, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what people should really understand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, very important. So now what you're looking at is the the, le the leftovers. Yeah. Because left they were very different when they were fresh, very different than this. Oh, there are beacons. When yeah. the sun would rise, then when, 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 when Haru Hippotechi would rise, you would be able to see that pyramid for miles. Yeah, yeah. They would, they would, they would, they're like beacons. You could, yeah. That thing would just shine. Yeah, because they were covered in limestone, right? So they were Correct. white. And the, right, and the, and, and, and and the tip was, it was solid gold. Was solid gold. Yes. Yeah. That, that energy was so strong, you could be able to, that thing would shine to the point where you would have no, you, 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 there would be no question about what they were. Yeah, and now, and the importance of gold in, in the ancient world, gold is a is a superconductor of energy. No, right? of course, yeah. that is that is gold. Gold, we wear gold now because it because it reflected its preciousness. But if even going to the future, if you wanted to build uh, spaceships that advanced spaceships where you needed to make sure you harness every bit of energy that you got, you use gold circuitry. Gold does well, not erode. Gold transfers energy better than anything else. Yeah, it, it, gold is in the cell phones we use. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, you know, you wouldn't get very much out of it, but of course, it's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 copper is another one. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, you know of course. Yeah. They want to use silver now because silver is a better form of conduit of, of connecting, which, of course, a great conductor of energy, of course. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Now we see pyramids, or uh, give me the word again. Perhas. Perhas. Okay, we see similar uh, structures in Mesoamerica, right? We see similar structures in even eight parts of Asia. I always took this as as a proliferation of knowledge. Am I seeing that the right way? That when we see these per, these per, these perhas in other areas of the world. Yeah, when you're looking at these magnificent structures, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, it yeah. takes a mathematical genius to be able to, to be able to put these things together. Right. Okay. It takes thousands of, of man hours of work. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't have cranes and helicopters. Right. 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 To be able to build these structures, man, to perfection. Mm -hmm. We really should take our time out to learn about this type of thing because you see. Their right brains and, and left brains is working in connection with each other when you're talking about building a structure of this of, of this magnitude. Right. Absolutely. There's there, there's just nothing but tons of rock. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the most most magnificent things you ever want to see. I yeah. mean, even in the Aztec pyramids, it's the most magnificent thing you ever want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The structures there. Right. And the, you see how they do the steps. Mm -hmm. and they go all the way to the top. It's just incredible how they keep that straight. Yeah, yeah, that is amazing. Amazing, is right? Amazing. So yeah. you really want to get connected to that? Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it is a display of, of the knowledge of the ancient world, right? Yes. On display, the precision of it, right? This right. is, you know, Stonehenge is no comparison to what they accomplished when they were building these structures. I did. Right. I just got to talking about Washington D.C. and how important this is. Right. Okay, but if you look at it. Right, if you were in a helicopter looking down, you would clearly see the comedic all over that place. Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're emulating it everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You would see, right, you you would see the Tekkens all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you would see all types of things, right? Because how true that is, right? Yeah. So uh, I think I put another uh, piece uh, in here real quick so we can be able to see. Okay, let me get this one here. I know we're going a little bit long, but I really wanted to talk about this today. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're good on time right now. But you just shot over to me here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the Nasu Betty practicing, right? The Montu arts. But as we can see, uh -huh. uh, again, this is talking about him and his art form. Mm -hmm. So 
who is this person again? Yeah, okay. Where is his shin? Are we looking up at the left? No, wait, wait, you wouldn't see the shin in this part. Okay. But you will see the name. Uh-huh, okay. So this person's name is right off to the left again, and it's talking about what this person, who this person is. Okay. Right here. Uh-huh. Okay. Right there, right, that's, the, that's the name there. Okay. Okay, and what this person is doing. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we see that. Yeah. Okay. So, again, all I wanted people to see is when this person, this is why it is called the Montu art form. Right. This person is practicing the Montu art form. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The land of the boat. And we see what he's got right there. That bow. You yeah, see that, that bow. You yeah. see the people around him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You see that person practicing the bow there? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. You see the. Okay. Now, if you go off to the right, mm -hmm. you see that shield there? Uh, military people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Military people. This is military training. Yeah. And you see right on top that crescent, the blue helmet there that's on top, the war crown there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to point out. See how important that is? The yeah. Because this new suit is a warrior in the suit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Practicing these arts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is why so when you are representing someone of that caliber, you would take after that person. So that's why it is called the Montu art form as we know it to be to right. this day. Okay. Okay. Okay, very important. Very so we important. didn't do martial arts. Right, right. It's Montu art right. form right there. Yeah, yeah. Was an African defense system. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted people to see there. Okay, okay, okay. I okay, love okay. Um, I wanted to touch on something completely outside. It's kind of a little bit of modern okay. mythology. Go you ahead. know, I like to mix this in. So last night, you know, I was sitting around and I was watching... Um, I was watching the Terminator last night, man. I was watching the, mm -hmm. the Terminator Dark Fate, which is really a terrible story because of all the, the, the time travel uh, elements that are, are unrec un unreconcilable in the story. But I, I, I like the story. I like, I like the Terminator. When you're coming from the North African belief system, how did they represent time? Like someone asked me, do you believe in time? Do you believe time travel is possible? My first answer is no. Right? I don't believe that time travel is possible. What did the ancients from this culture say about time, or did they reference it in any way? Time travel has a lot to do with levels of consciousness. Okay. So we are going to be doing time travel. Yeah. Like you'll be doing time travel because, remember, you're going to have, you know, for an example, you always hear people say, I've had outer body experiences. Yes. You hear people say, right, they were in another place. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All these things are time travel. Yeah. Okay. So let's break this down a little bit. Okay. So I know that I've had this. I've had dreams mm -hmm. where I know I was in another place other than where I live. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If if that is so, mm -hmm. then that's time travel. Okay. You're in another place yeah. other than where you know you normally are. Right. Okay. Yeah. So how did you get there? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm trying to say? Even though you say, okay, I'm, I'm in dream state, you call, you know, REM sleep, mm -hmm. and all these other things that people, right? You're always having time trouble because you know now that I am not in my normal environment. Right. Right. Time travel is consciousness. The stronger the level of level of consciousness, you travel to different dimensions. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jack? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so people are thinking that you're going to get into a, a spaceship of some kind. Right. And time travel, that is not happening. Right. Okay, because number one, we don't have the technology to be able to do that. Right. We can go certain places, mm -hmm. but we're very limited to where we can go. Right, right. If you're talking about going into some other place, like going to, you know, uh, nebulous, mm -hmm. or going to another place or other than, you know, you talk about dimensions going outside of the planet. Yeah. It's consciousness. They had a, a story about um, 
in the Bible where they talked about Jacob when he went up to the Jacob's ladder mm -hmm. and he went up into the, the staircase up into heaven. Yeah. And all this kind of stuff. Okay, but that's time travel. Right. That's time travel. Okay. 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 So, yeah. You, you, okay. Yeah. But what yeah. I'm saying is these are examples of. Right. Okay. 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 So, yeah. So, so if you're talking about going into these different dimensions, mm -hmm. is it a possible thing? The answer is yes, it is. Okay. Okay. But not in the way that we wouldn't know it. Today. Right. 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 How do you feel about that? Does that. Well, it's an interesting thing because, I mean, really, like, we do a lot. We try to achieve. Um, Feats that these people talked about as being natural elements of ourselves, we try to achieve them through technology, right? Like, like honestly, you cannot travel from planet to planet in a spaceship. It's impossible, no. right? It's impossible. You, okay, right. first of all, th the distances, we're talking light years, okay? Yeah. We do not travel at light speed. There are barriers built into the nature of the universe. The faster you go, the heavier you become, right? That's because exactly you not right. travel, you cannot travel at light speed. If you well, cannot travel, right? Okay. No, you know, you're no, you're 100 percent right. Yeah. And see, uh, my teacher Gregory Walker talked about that. Yes. See, this stuff is important for us to understand because we think by looking at science fiction movies that we could be able to do such a thing. Right. But it's not humanly possible to be able to do these things. Right. Right, just because of just what you just mentioned, what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. I just wanted to interject. I just say that real quick. Yeah, there are physical barriers to the existence that we live in that say this is not what you're going to do. Right, I mean, you can't even do that, man. As far as getting down to certain parts of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Right, you are crumple up, man, like a like like, like a soda <laughs> can. Right. Like, the pressure is too great. Pressure is too great. Okay, yeah. you know, so you're you're not strong enough. Yeah. Right? You can go to certain areas, right? right. But we know. Right, the the, the 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 further down in the depth you go, you understand the pressure down there is too great to be able, right? The, yeah, the pressure like a grape down there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That was just an interesting thing because you know, like I said, we're seeing modern mythology, and modern mythology is a reflection of what we think about things, how we believe, you know, our perceptions. Just as what, just as well as our ancient people were, they were telling us uh, collectively what their ideas about the universe were. Well, they, 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 they're, they're talking in metaphors again. Right. And metaphorically, they want to use a ship. Mm -hmm. But what they're really talking about is consciousness. Right. Okay. There you go. That's very significant. They, yeah. So yeah. Because they know that that, that, that that would not be reality. Yeah. yeah. But mythology-wise, you're talking about consciousness, how a person can travel. Right. Right. From one particular planet to another. That's okay. Consciousness. Yes. Okay. All right. You know, I got to get you with a couple of verses before we get out. So I can't get away oh, with a couple man, of verses, yes, okay? Oh, and I had some good, these are some good ones here. So this is one that comes from mythology, and we have uh, we have Enkidu, excuse me, Gilg Gilgamesh here, and we have Hercules. So Mesopotamian mythology and firmly Greek mythology. I'm going to go, man, with Gilgamesh. You're going to go with Gilgamesh, okay. Yeah. Gilgamesh, man, it, it, he's just a warrior. Man. Yeah. He's a Just bad a dude, man. He's a bad dude. Right. Yeah. And the fighting prowess is is up there. Okay. Okay. I right. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna give it to Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Okay. All right. I, I I actually I go Gilgamesh as well. He's a little okay, bit more divine too. Yeah, I mean, right. And when you're dealing with divine energy, man, that's a whole other yeah, level. Yeah, he is. He is on that whole other level. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I I mean I can go where brute brute strength sometimes. Yeah. I do agree with it. Mm -hmm. But if you have no divinity there, man, you have no right. If that's all you are, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. you're not able to touch a level, man, like Dogan can. Yeah, okay, okay. Right. He's yeah. in a whole nother level, man, of, of, of fighting, man. It's almost like trying to deal with the guy, man. He's a master, a master magician. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, he, once he tricks your mind, it's over. It's done with. Yeah, yep. yeah, I like that. Okay, okay, I got, I got a couple more. I two more I want to get to, okay. Now, this is a good one. You're going to like this one, okay? So, you know I had to get your boy K Kong, man. I took Kong, and I wanted to match him up with that wolf from Norse mythology, man. That Fenrin wolf. I... <laughs> I'm a, you know what, man? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm gonna give it to Kong. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to Kong, man. Okay. Cause Kong, Kong will put some blows on him. 
tongue gonna put the blows in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right, I, I can see the wolf getting down. Yeah, <laughs> I can see the wolf doing it, man. But when it comes to Kong, man, Kong is a brute, man. He can handle it, man. I yeah, don't throw some creatures out. Man. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. Yeah. He, we, he 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 gonna put the savagery on. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some decisions. I'm telling you, inner wisdom is like, and the wolf is gonna get him. This might be a fight we have to see. <laughs> but the wolf, but the wolf, man. The thing about it is. Is that the, the wolf is a fighter, man, but he's not on that level, man, like Kong is. Kong yeah. is like, he's yeah. got skills and he's smarter. Yeah, he is smarter. Yeah, he is he's smarter. He's smarter, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, he, he, he punched Godzilla pretty good. Yeah, he did, man. Godzilla was like, okay, look, I don't necessarily want it with you. When he figured out he could be cool with Kong, he went on and took that route. That's right, but yeah. he, but Kong is a is a serious brute, man. He's a, he's yeah. a brawler, man. He's a fighter. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can see the wolf having the claws, <laughs> but the blows, man. Yeah, I, it's gonna too much. Put the, the hammers on it, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just gonna give it. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. And I'll let you get out. Okay, this is an interesting here. This is a pure comic book one because these two characters are kind of similar to each other. You got the Hulk and you got Solomon Grundy. Now, we talked about Solomon Grundy. Yeah, that's a deep character, too, man. There's a lot going on with Solomon Grundy. Yeah, see, I, you know, I, I'm going to give it to Solomon Grundy. you going to go Solomon Grundy against the Hulk. Yeah, because Solomon Grundy, man, is a, it, he, he's, man, that dude, man, is, is a beast, man. He's, he's really, man. He's like the Hulk, man. Like he's like a stone version of the Hulk. Yeah, and he he does he regenerates. He doesn't die. He comes Thank back. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Solomon Grundy comes back. He's like a zombie. Yeah, he's kind of a zombie so, version of, of the Hulk. This character has been out for a long time though. He was not a Hulk ripoff. He they introduced his character back in 1944. That's how long yeah. Solomon Grundy has been around. So you know, I I mean, we talked about that. Put that up there, make us hungry. He, he's a bad dude. Man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely a bad dude. So I'm gonna go Simon Grant. See, here's the thing. Yeah, I like the Hulk. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah, but the Hulk cannot regenerate. He can't do it. Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna do that like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. If the Hulk goes down, he's going down. Period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But Simon Grant ain't gonna do that though. Man. Yeah. He can regenerate and come back and do some more. Like, yeah, yeah. He's gonna learn from that too. Yeah. He got me last yeah, time. It ain't gonna happen again. Yeah. See, so I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Solomon Grundy on no, this. Solomon Grundy. Okay. Well, that was good. Look, this was a great show. We got to a lot today. Thank you, uh, Inner Wisdom Productions, for stopping it and contributing. We still got some questions we got to answer for you too, and we're gonna get back to that. But man, Siba, on the way out the door, you got anything you want to want to drop on us? I know I, uh, we're trying to get back on track. I know we've been going for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, the verse has been doing very well. Yeah. Um, love it. Uh, but yeah, please support the channel. Um, if we have questions, we try to get to them. And of course, if you have verses, Drop let us them. know. Let us know. Let us know on the verses. Yeah. Absolutely. So again, thank you guys for coming in. I will get this cut into some edit, small pieces for you. We'll be back next week, but we'll be answering your comments. Thank you as always for stopping in. Thank you. All right. Have a good one.